And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. He said we we're going to be brought into Egypt, meaning slavery again, captivity again. Read. By the way, well, I spake unto thee. Uh -huh. Thou shalt see it no more again. And we wouldn't see our homeland again. Read. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. And once we got to this new Egypt, this new slavery, we were what? And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. We were sold to our enemies. We bond men, we were slave men, and bond women, and slave women. Read. And no man shall buy you. And no man was going to be able to redeem us. You gonna say black? Hey, come here, come on. I want you to get close, right. cause I'm about to read something. <laughs> Give me Deuteronomy 28, start at verse 15. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Around, Listen real close, Bree. But it shall come to pass. Hey, sis, hold on, sis, sis. It's, oh. it, thinks, it has your name in here. You hear that? I, 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 you hear it? Watch this. Read it again. But it Hold shall up. come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Well, the Bible said that if we did not listen to the words of this Bible to keep these laws, right? Watch, read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes which I commanded this day. If we did not keep the commandments that are in the Bible, read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Curses, are they a good thing or a bad thing? Bad? What you say, bad? What would you say, bro? Bad, bro. Bad, bro. All right, read. That's what we wanted curses. Verse 16. Uh -huh. Cursed shall thou be in the city. The Bible said that we would be cursed in the cities. When you look around Houston, Texas, are our people cursed in these cities? Are we the ones killing each other? Yes. We the ones dying out in these streets every day, right? Read. And cursed shall thou be in the field. When you look at the cotton fields in slavery, look at these pictures. In slavery, who was cursed to be in these in these places? It was our people, right? Sis, did you hear that? Who were cursed in the cotton fields? That was us. Who were cursed in the cities today? That's us, right? What are we reading? The Bible. This is black history we're reading out of the Bible. This is your history. Your history, brother. Right. Read. Curse shall be thy basket in thy store. When you look at our businesses, do our businesses compete at the same level as white people? They do? Yours do? So you compete you competing with Walgreens? You competing with all these? No. Right? At a at a very low level, that's how we compete. But on a high level, that's how they compete. The Bible said that that was a curse. Jump down to 32. Verse 32. That's so Brother, keep it in your pants. You need to stay focused. Right. You don't worry about her. You stay focused. You a virgin. Well, you, need to be, you need to be a virgin and keep it in your pants. Leave that sister alone. She's trying to listen. Read. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Said, Our sons and daughters would be given unto another people. We went into slavery because we were insatiable. Because we didn't keep the commandments of the Most High God. Because our men couldn't control their penis. That's why we went into slavery. Yes. Right. Yes. It's talking about you, brother. Read, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Our children were taken away from us. Did we have any power to get them back during slavery? If CPS, DHS, anything come and take your children today, do we have any power to get them back today? These are the curses God put upon us for disobedience. Right. That's what happened to us. This Bible, these curses prove that we are God's chosen people. Give me verse 41, I believe it is. Verse, verse 41. Thou shalt be got sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them. Why? For they shall go into captivity. Our children were sold in slavery. Is that our history? Absolutely, that is our history. But what are we reading? The Bible. The Bible. Read. All thy trees and fruit of thy land shall the locusts consume. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. The strangers, they took our resources, our lands. They put us in captivity. When did this happen during the time of slavery? Still happening today, Bree. Listen, Bree. And thou shalt come down very low. And that's what happened to us today. We've come down so low that early in the morning, our men are walking around drunk, high off their ass. Bring it up. 
Read. He shall lend to thee. Now the other nations lend money to us. Read. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. And we don't lend to them. As a nation of people, we're supposed to be able to supply and support our own businesses. We shouldn't have to go to another nation of people to supply our businesses. Read. He shall be the head. And now what has happened is the so-called white man has become our God. So much so that we can't we can't deal with depression. We can't deal with anxiety. We want to get drunk all day, high all day, killing each other. Read. And thou shall be the tail. And now we're low. We, you can't get much lower than a black, Hispanic, or Native American in this world today. Read on. Matter of fact, jump down to 68. Let me get the point. Watch this, Bree. Watch this, because these things that we're reading at the Bible, did this stuff happen to us? It didn't happen to you? I just, what's your, I, here's an example, here's an example, Bree. What's your last name? Foster. Foster, right? If I go to Africa right now, do you think we're going to find any Fosters in Africa? Yep. No, because Foster was the name of your slave master. Right. So you're proof that this stuff did happen to you. We're the children that were sold away, and now we've grown generation after generation and gotten older, and we've forgotten our past, we've forgotten our God. Right. Read. Verse 68, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. He said we're going to be brought into Egypt, meaning slavery again, captivity again. Because when, when the Israelites were in, were, were in uh, Egypt the first time, they were slaves, right? And now this time we come to America, what were we? We were slaves. Even to this day, we're slaves. Read. Again with ships. And we were brought over here in slavery by way of cargo slave ships. Did that happen to us? Did that happened to us, right? This is, the proof is here. This ain't just drawings and cartoons. This stuff actually happened. So we were brought to this side of the world by way of cargo slave ships. That's Bible prophecy, which is now black history. Read. By the way, we I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. And we wouldn't see our homeland again. Read. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. And once we got to this new Egypt, this new slavery, we were what? And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. We were sold to our enemies. Read. For bond men. For slave men. And bond women. And slave women. Read. And no man shall buy you. And no man was going to be able to redeem us. That verse 68. There's one redeemer for the black, Hispanic, and Native American man and woman. Read. This is the book of Luke, chapter 1 and verse 68. Uh -huh. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Yes, that blessed be the Lord God of Israel, because the one true God is our God, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. For he hath visited and redeemed his people. He's going to visit and redeem his people, the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Right. Read. And hath raised up a horn of salvation for us. And he has raised up that horn of salvation, which is Christ. He's raising up for the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man. Read. In the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. Because all the prophets prophesied about the coming of the Messiah, the black Messiah, Jesus the Christ. Right. Right. Read. That we should be saved from our enemies. That you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you will be saved 
by the hand of our Redeemer, Christ, the Black Messiah. He ain't coming for all nations. Believe it or not, the Most High God does not love all nations. No Christian pastor made that up. That is not biblical. Read on. As were from the hand of all that hate us to perform the mercy promised to our fathers. To perform the, the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. So you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you should come over here and find out what you need to do, who you are, what we, what you what your main mission is on this planet Earth. And that is to fear God and keep his commandments. Right. Let's go to Ecclesiastes 12. We got to fear the Lord. That's what's wrong with our people today. We don't fear God. We fear man and rather than God. But we need to start fearing God because he's the one that's going to put this place in the thermonuclear flames. Read. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 and verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. When it's all said and done, this is let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Read. Fear God and keep his commandments. You see that? We got to fear God and keep his commandments. That's our main mission out here. Give me Psalms 111 and 10. Our main mission is to fear God and keep his commandments. Because why? He got the power. He always had the power to destroy. That's what we got to do. We got to fear God and keep his commandments. Read. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 111 and verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. That's what begins your wisdom. Once you learn how to fear God, that's when wisdom bestows in your mind. Read. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. A good understanding of this Bible and why we out here is for you if you do the commandments. Not if you're going around drunk, getting high, being a whoremonger. Talking about you not, you you not, you ain't come from slavery. No, brother, slave, the slave trade is recorded in the Bible. Read it again. Fear the, Lord. the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. That's how you begin wisdom. Uh, give me that in uh, Psalms 119 and 20, 120. Psalms 119, 120. Because that's what we got to do. We got to fear God and keep his commandments. And why do we have to fear God? Why would God put wisdom on us if we fear him? This is the reason why. Read. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 120. My flesh trembling for fear of thee. You see that? Our flesh shall tremble for the fear of the Lord. Read again. I am afraid of thy judgments. My flesh trembling for the fear of thee. Our flesh tremble for the fear of God. That's what we're supposed to do, fear God. Read. And I am afraid of thy judgments. And we are afraid of his judgments. That's why we should keep his commandments. Give me, uh, give me Romans 6 and 23. Romans 6 and 23. That's why we should fear God and keep his commandments. Because why? His judgments. His judgments that he can put us to death. Right. He can either give us life or he can, give, he can put us to death. Ain't no gray area with God. Read. This is the book of Romans, chapter 6 and verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. Read again. For the wages of sin is death. For the wages of sin is death. Read. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. <coughs> Repentance is the gift of God. That's what gives us eternal life. Once we repent and keep the Lord's commandments, we won't have to fear death. We'll be in, uh, give me Proverbs 7 and 2. That's what we got to do. We got to keep, we got to fear God and keep his commandments. Everybody want eternal life, but don't want to do what it takes to get there. Brother, check this out though. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 7 and verse 2. Keep my commandments and live. See what God said, bro? He said, keep my commandments and live. Read it again. Keep my commandments and live. 
and my law as the apple of thine eye. We're supposed to have that law protected like the apple of our eye, like it's the most precious thing. Right. Do we want eternal life? Yes, we do. But first, we got to do what? From the top. Keep my commandments and live. Keep God's commandments and live. We got to fear the Lord and keep his commandments in order to live. Or else we're going to get put to death. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models.